Commitment 2020 now. Democrat Kathy Manning is back at it for another run at Congress after losing just two years ago to Ted Budd. This time she's running in a newly formed 6th Congressional District, which combines all of Guilford County and a chunk of Forsyth County, as you can see on the map. Bill O'Neill joins us now with Ms. Manning's story. Manning has raised more than a million dollars for this race. She has the experience of running once before, and this time she's the favorite. What a difference this time around for the Greensboro Democrat. Two years ago, you faced a huge uphill battle, and now it's your opponent who faces a huge uphill battle, and I'm wondering what that difference feels like. You know, the interesting thing is I don't take anything for granted. I am running this race like I'm behind. Ordered by the courts, North Carolina lawmakers redrew congressional maps, moving Manning from a Republican district to one favoring Democrats. What would you say is the biggest difference between you and your opponent? I believe my values are the values of the people in this district. I want to work hard to make sure that we can have affordable, health care and prescription drugs that are accessible to everyone. I want to invest in our education system. I want to invest in our public schools. One other big difference between Manning and her opponent, Lee Haywood, is money. Manning's campaign has raised more than a million dollars. Haywood's campaign, a little more than $15,000. The president has mentioned uh, potential cuts to Social Security as well as Medicare, and I'm wondering what you would do to protect both of those programs. I find it unbelievable that at a time of a global pandemic, this president is still trying to take health care away from people by talking about cuts to Medicare. People pay into Social Security during their working years. They pay in to make sure there will be Medicare there for, during their working years. Uh, these, are, these are benefits that they have paid into, that they have earned, and we need to make sure that those are secure. Manning says she supports a path to citizenship for undocumented immigrants opposes sending people to prison for using marijuana, but is undecided about legalizing the drug, and says she wants to invest in health care and education. I heard you use the word invest several times there with health care and education, and I can just hear your opponent screaming from the bleachers going, how are you going to pay for all this stuff? So how? I think we need to take a tough look at our budget and decide what things are really in the interests of the American people and where we can carve some costs. Can you give me one example of something you might cut? Um, things that I might cut. I, I can't give you a specific, um, but, it's, but it is something that I would take a very tough look at uh, when I get to Congress. What is the significance of this country having more women in seats of power? I believe women oftentimes have different experiences, different ways of approaching problems and are confronted with different problems. And having women at the table can oftentimes expand the conversation. We asked the candidates if they'd recommend a book or movie they came across during the pandemic. Manning says she likes a Netflix documentary from former Clinton Labor Secretary Robert Reich. It basically shows him teaching a class of students and talking about the economy, um, how we should be looking at our economy and how our current system impacts people. It is a fascinating uh, piece and I thought it was eye-opening. Well, you have lots of fun at the, uh, the Manning House, don't you? <laughs> Manning is a lawyer and a community activist. She spearheaded the private fundraising drive for the Tiger Center in Greensboro. Bill O'Neill, WXII, 12 News.